Now let's talk a little bit about peppermint essential oil. The peppermint plant is actually a hybrid of watermint and spearmint and was first described by Carl Linus in 1753. A high menthol content like that that's found in peppermint oil distinguishes the best quality peppermint from other products. Frequently used in toothpaste, chewing gum, for oral health, peppermint also helps to alleviate stomach upset and promotes healthy respiratory function as well as digestive functions. Now peppermint is extremely powerful and potent. 28 cups of peppermint tea is the equivalent of one drop of peppermint essential oil. So now remember, your, your essential oils are 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. And we know that herbs are extremely beneficial for the human body because they're like us. We have that carbon base and they have that carbon base as well. So the nice thing is, is it's about eight cents for a drop of peppermint. And that is extremely affordable, pennies on the dose pretty much. And the amount of antioxidant power you're getting from that one drop of peppermint is a the equivalent of those 28 cups. So that's a lot of antioxidant power packed into one drop. So what does peppermint do for you? It helps to reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion, promotes healthy respiratory function, and clears um, and helps to promote breathing. Commonly found in oral health products as well as um, it helps to promote a healthy digestive function and process as well. So peppermint practical uses include applying topically to help relieve feelings of tension. I know, I don't know about you, but we women mostly tend to get a lot of that shoulder and head tension, um, causing us sometimes some headaches and shoulder aches. Uh, it's wonderful for that. You can diffuse when feeling fatigued or low on energy. I used to be a night shift employee and peppermint would help keep me awake and focused while driving home long drives. Um, it blends well with lavender for a very soothing massage. You can rub it on your temples after you wake up in the morning to boost your energy and help you focus. You can place one drop in your mouth to help freshen your breath. It is about a thousand times stronger than any breath mint you'll find on the market. <laughs> and you can add two to three drops to your favorite smoothie recipe for a refreshing twist. Uh, you can you know, make your own mouthwash and that kind of stuff as well. Uh, you could place one drop in the palm of your hand with a drop of wild orange and a drop of frankincense. Inhale that for a midday pick-me-up. That is one of the best things that I've found to help me stay focused, alert, and on task is, is that little combination there. Now you can also take one to two drops in a veggie capsule to alleviate any occasional stomach upset. You can add to cold water compress or a foot bath to help cool off when you're overheated. You can inhale for a non-stimulant invigorating pick-me-up on, on long drives, like we mentioned earlier. And you can add it to shampoo or conditioner for a stimulating hair massage. You'll start to feel it tingle and it feels really, really good, very invigorating on the scalp. It repels bugs naturally. So if you're really worried about um, infestation of any kind of insects, uh, this is a great way to repel those. Um, you can spritz it around windows and doors to help keep those pests out. Uh, mice don't like it either. And you can diffuse during study time, which is really nice to help keep you on task and focus, like we mentioned as well. So which feature or practical use of peppermint essential oil listed above did you like the most? I want to hear your answer. If you can post that below, that would be awesome. Thank you.